Hi, and welcome to the AV.com YouTube channel. My name's Tim, and this is actually the second instalment in a series of videos where we're looking at the brand new Bowers & Wilkins 600 Series 3 loudspeakers. And to help us do that is Gilles V from Bowers & Wilkins. Thanks for being with us today. Hi, Tim. Hi, guys. So let's get into it. So, Gilles V, talk to us a little bit about Bowers & Wilkins and the 600 Series. Who are the brand? And what were you aiming for with the new 600 Series 3 range of loudspeakers? Yeah, so Bowers and Wilkins have been doing premium and performance-led loudspeakers for almost five, for over five decades, I should say now. And the aim of the 600 Series 3, what we have in front of us here today, has really been for the love of music and for the people that first and foremost love music. And we've tried to imbue these products with as much technology from our premium high performance models. And over, over the years, that's really enhanced the refinement um, into what we have here today. Yeah, brilliant. And we have shot a range overview where we cover all the models. So please do check that out. We'll put a link in the description below. But what we want to do right now is delve right into the bookshelf speakers in the range, which is the 607S3 here to my right and the 606S3 here on my left. So, Jelvi, let's get into the technology changes on these two bookshelf models. To the viewers at home, they look very similar to the outgoing models, but in actual fact, you guys have changed pretty much everything about these speakers. It doesn't look like we've changed all that much from the outside. However, all the improvements that we have made have been internal, and that's been cascaded down technologies from our 700 range and even our flagship range, the 800s. And I, as I understand it, the tweeter probably has had the most amount of work to it. Talk us through some of the changes there. The, the tweeter has been completely rehauled. Right. So we have a 700 S3 spec diaphragm around uh, the tweeter housing. So it's much larger and more open than the previous range. Then we have a completely new uh, material for the tweeter dome itself. So we've moved away from aluminium to titanium. That gives us a more refined, smoother sound without compromising any of the resolution that we've had in previous models. And that's now housed in a elongated tube loading system that gives a freer, more open sound again. And lastly, in the tweeter assembly, we have the 800 signature series grill mesh. I think that's the absolute pinnacle of trickle-down technology, that you've got something from your 800 signature series speaker right here on the, on the 600 series. So that is uh, taking care of the front, but mm -hmm. around the back we've got a lot of changes as well. Talk us through some of that. So in the previous models in the Series 2, we used to have a port and the terminals below uh, configuration. Now we've moved away from that and it's gone to a more 700 series configuration where the terminals are now side by side as opposed to above and below and the port isn't part of that, it's removed above and it sits in suspension basically and is elongated so you get a deeper, fuller uh, base extension and more stiffness around the back of the cabinet. The other thing that I didn't mention previously was the upgraded motor systems that all of these models have, whether it's the 606, 607, or the uh, 603s, or the center channels. So that's, again, technology that's trickled down from uh, our more kind of premium models. I will mention that the stands, the new FS600 S3 stands, will accompany the 607 or the 606 uh, stand mounts and be able to mechanically fit in and be secured onto the stands themselves. So that wasn't the case in previous models. So that's quite a big thing, even though it doesn't sound like it. Yeah, and obviously very handy if you've got any young children around the house. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. So talk me through the driver yes. array on the, on the speakers and how these differ and what you might be looking out for. Okay, so starting with the 607, and the 607 features the new titanium dome tweeter, which is 25 millimeters with a five inch or 130 millimeter continuum cone. If you want a larger sound, a fuller sound, maybe more bass extension, then that's where we could talk about the 606 for those customers with a larger cabinet, and a larger mid-base cone, continuum cone, which is six and a half um, inches or 165 millimeters. I think the 607 is, is, is truly a bookshelf speaker. Mm -hmm. 
I think you probably got to have a rather large bookshelf for this, but it can <laughs> be done. And uh, they both sound awesome. Yeah, absolutely. They both can be stand mounted as well, like I mentioned. But the one that really does blow most people away is the 607. Given its very small form factor, it, um, it sounds incredibly free and larger than the box that it's in. So I think it's probably time to take a listen. Yes. So we've had a chance to have a listen and, and wow, you can really hear that these, what were already a great speaker has really moved on. It really is an incredible sound. I think for me, the 607 S3 is the one that's improved the most and it just has a sound that just really is, belies its size. It's absolutely incredible. And that's exactly what we were going for in this in this range. It's for music lovers first and foremost, but also imbued with as much technology as we could fit within the category to still keep it affordable for people into um, this form factor and all the upgrades that we've done from the motor systems to the all new tweeter um, to the port configuration. I'm glad that you said that because that's exactly what we were going for. Yeah, absolutely. And to give the, the guys at home there a little bit of a, a feeling, the, the, the 607 S3 absolutely lends itself to a, a bookshelf or a stand. And the 606 is just bigger again. And I think, I still think this is my favourite, the 606 S3. And if you're starting on building a hi-fi system, then this is the one uh, to go for. It's just got a bigger cabinet and a really awesome sound. But if you're tight on space, the 607 S3 performs admirably. So for me, I'm thinking that the 607 S3 would work really well with something like the Denon DM41, where you want a nice compact system. And I'm thinking for the 606 S3, something like the Marantz PM607 would partner really well. They, they would absolutely partner very well, but the point is we've tested them with over 40 different amplifiers and across the board, they're going to sound great, hopefully with whatever you have at home to partner it with, whether it's class A and B or D. Well, 40 amplifiers, that's really good to know. And I think that tweeter technology, uh, it is a more refined, it is a more open sound, and I think it's probably a more friendly sound, and it will actually lend itself to work with multiple amplifiers, like you say, so that's great to hear. So I think that about sums everything up. Thank you so much, Ilvi, for being with us here today. Thank you very much for having me, Tim. It's been a pleasure, as always.